In this video, I'll demonstrate how to design and order custom t-shirts using Adobe Express. Adobe Express provides everything we need to create amazing t-shirt designs, including customizable t-shirt templates and professional design tools. With Adobe Express, you can create a custom design and order high quality printed t-shirts all in one place. We'll go through the various design tools and features, and I'll even order a printed t-shirt directly from Adobe Express for an unboxing and review. So let's head over to Adobe Express and go over how to design and order t-shirts. So to create our t-shirt design, let's first start by checking out the t-shirt design templates. To do this, let's go up to the search bar up top and type in t-shirt. I can then go to the right hand side here and click the search button. This will pull up all the assets on Adobe Express related to the keyword t-shirt. If you look at the options up top here, you should see a tab that says templates. As of now, they have over 1400 templates available. Let's click this and check them out. This should take us to a page where we can view all the various t-shirt design templates available on Adobe Express. If you wanted to filter your results to view the free or premium templates, select a template style or enable other filters, you can do that using the filters menu on the left. So now let's scroll through the results here and see what various t-shirt templates are available on Adobe Express. As you can see, there are tons of templates available with various styles and designs. Each template is fully customizable, so it's a great way to kickstart your t-shirt design. So let's find a template to use for my t-shirt design example. For this demonstration, I think I'll just go with this template here. To select a template, simply click it to open it up. This will open up a menu where you can view the template details. To customize the template, go ahead and click the Customize Template button. This should take you to the Adobe Express Editor. Here's where you can fully customize your template by changing or adding text, graphics, or other elements. One cool thing about Adobe Express is that you can easily view the various layers of your design on the right hand side. But since we're just getting started, let's close this for now. Also, if you decide you want to try a different template, you can go to the Templates tab from the menu on the left hand side and type in t-shirt in the top search bar. This should pull up all the t-shirt design templates that we were browsing through earlier. If you like, feel free to browse and select a new template. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to stick with this template here. So to zoom into the template to get a better view, let's select the Zoom tab from the top toolbar. This will open up a drop down menu where you can adjust your zoom settings. I think that'll work. So when you first open up a design template in the Adobe Express Editor, all the elements may be grouped together. This is so you can easily resize and move everything around if needed. But in order to edit each individual element, we'll have to ungroup them. To do this, let's select the grouped elements. And from the menu on the left hand side, let's click the ungroup button. Your design should now be ungrouped, allowing you to customize each element individually. So now that I've selected a template and ungrouped my elements, let's go over how to create my t-shirt design. So when using a design template, the first thing I typically like to customize is my text. So let's start with my top text here. To change the text, simply select it, then type in whatever you want it to say. You can then resize it using the corners and drag it to move it around if needed. So let's select my bottom text and change this as well. There we go. So my text now says content is king. So now that we've changed what the text says, let's see if we can change the font and add some other effects. To view the text options, simply select the text element that you want to edit. This will open up the text editing menu on the left hand side of the page. Here's where we can access all sorts of options for our text. We can change our font, change the formatting, the text layout, the color, and much more. At the top of the menu here, you can see several recommended fonts. These are auto-generated font recommendations based on the design that you're creating. This is a great way to quickly check out various font styles to see what looks best with your design. To check out any of the font recommendations, simply select it and your text should be updated on your template. But if you want to browse through all the Adobe Express fonts, you can use the drop down menu here. Here's where you can view the fonts that you're currently using. And if I click the more fonts tab, we can view all the fonts that are available in the Adobe Express library. Adobe Express has over 30,000 fonts available, so you'll definitely find the style that you're looking for. Also, if you already know which font you want to use, you can simply type it into the text field. For my top text, I'm going to go with the cursive font called Alex Brush. As you type, you'll see fonts with that keyword appear in the menu. Let's select the Alex Brush regular. And my template text has been updated. Underneath this, you can use the various tools to adjust your text formatting. This includes things like adding bold or italics or adjusting your text size. And as you adjust your text, you may notice the size and the position change on your template. While you're editing, feel free to resize and rearrange this as needed. Underneath our text formatting tools, we also have an option to adjust our text layout. 
If I click the text layouts option here, it'll open up a drop down menu with various options. This includes scaling your text, having your text go around in a circle, arcing your text, or having your text bow. If I select arc for example, my text will be arced on my template. The various layout options allow you to create some really cool and unique designs. But for my text layout, I'm just going to stick with the default. Underneath this, we can use the next options here to change the color of our text and add an outline to our text. If I select the fill icon, it'll open up a menu where I can select any color that I wish to use for my text. You can use the swatches tab to view recommended colors, or you can use the custom tab to view all colors. When selecting your colors, make sure you use colors that complement your design. For my top text, I think I'll just stick with white. And beside your fill icon, you also have the outline icon. There's no outline by default, but you can easily add an outline by selecting a color here. And if you select an outline color, you can use the slider bar underneath to adjust your outline thickness. This is another great option, but for my design, I'm going to stick with no outline. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see another slider bar where you can adjust the opacity of your text. Moving the slider to the left, you can make your text more transparent. If you want it to align your text element horizontally or vertically on your template, you can use the icons here. And underneath this, we can use the shadow tab to add a shadow to our text. But before testing this out, let's change the background color of my template so we can actually see the shadow. There we go. Now that I have a lighter background, let's select my text and go back to the shadows tab from the menu on the left. If I click the shadow tab, it'll open up a menu with several shadow options for our text. You can select from one of the shadow options here, create a custom shadow, and even change the shadow color. For my top text here, I think I'll go with the smooth shadow. I think that helps to highlight my text pretty well. And if we click the back button and look underneath the shadow tab, we can also select the shape tab. Here's where you'll find various options to add a background shape behind your text. This could be a creative option depending on what you're designing, but for my text, I'm just going to stick with the shadow. So I'm finished customizing my top text. Now let's customize my bottom text. To do this, let's select it and use the same text editing options from the menu on the left. I can now change the font, the formatting, the layout, the color, or whatever else I like. And as you edit, don't forget to adjust the size and location of your elements on your template. So my template text now says content is king. And since I plan to add my design to a black t-shirt, let's change my background back to black. When designing, Try to use the same background color as the t-shirt you plan to use so you can make sure all the colors complement each other. So we've gone over the various options to customize my template text. Now let's go over how to add graphics for my t-shirt design. But first, let's start by deleting this default graphic here. To do this, let's select it, then click the delete icon. And the default template graphic has been removed. Also, let's rearrange my text elements a bit. There we go. So for my t-shirt design, Let's go over how to generate the main graphic using artificial intelligence. To do this, let's access the AI image generator by going to the media tab from the menu on the left hand side. At the top of the menu here, you should see a button that says generate image. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up a drop down menu where you can select your image ratio. This will depend on whatever it is you're generating, but for this example, I'm just going to go with square. And a square image frame should be added to my template and the AI image generator should now be open on the left hand side. So using the text field at the top of the menu, we can simply describe the type of graphic that we want the AI to generate. Try to be as descriptive as possible, including colors, locations, objects, people, and whatever else you want to include. For my content is king design, I'm going to have the AI generate an image of a golden crown with a computer cursor on the front. I think that should be pretty cool. And if you want the AI to replicate the style or composition of another image, you can upload a reference image here. Underneath this, let's use the drop down menu to select our content type. Here you'll find several content types that you can select from. But since I want to generate a graphic for my t-shirt design, I'm going to select the graphic option. Another cool thing about Adobe Express is that they have dozens of styles that you can implement into your AI generated graphics as well. Feel free to browse the various styles and select the ones you feel will work best with your design. For my design styles, I'm going to select simple and digital art. So now that I've described the image that I want the AI to generate, selected a content type and added my styles, let's go down to the bottom here and click the generate button. The AI will then analyze your description and after a few moments, it will provide you with several images that you can select from. As you can see, the AI generated images on Adobe Express are super high quality. Feel free to check out your images and select the one that you like best. 
When you select an image, it should appear on your template. I think these actually look really good, but if you wanted to generate more images, you can simply go to the menu on the left and click the Generate More tab. This will provide you with even more results that you can select from. So for my content is king crown, let's go with this image here. So I've added an AI generated image to my template to use with my t-shirt design, but you may notice it still has a background. Luckily, on Adobe Express, this can easily be removed with a single click. To remove an image background, start by selecting the image. This will open up the image editing menu on the left hand side. If you look at the options at the top of the menu, you should see one that says remove background. Simply click this and the background of your image will instantly be removed. There we go. My AI generated image can now be used as a graphic in my t-shirt design. And keep in mind, Adobe Express's generate image feature is designed to be safe for commercial use. You can now resize and rearrange the graphic and rearrange all the other elements on your template as well. Feel free to be as creative as you like and try out some different arrangements. So here's my new design with my AI generated graphic. All the text elements here were customized from the original template. But if you wanted to add another text element, you can simply go to the text tab from the menu on the left hand side. At the top of the menu, you should see a button that says add your text. If you click this, a new text box will be added to your template which you can edit and customize using the text tools on the left hand side. So my main text says content is king, so let's add a subheadline that says the crown jewel of marketing. I can then use the menu on the left to change the font and add other text effects. I think that'll work. I can now resize and arrange my new text element as needed. So now that we've gone over how to add another text element, let's go over how to add graphics from the Adobe Express library. To find graphics, let's click the elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. From here, simply go to the search bar at the top and type in whatever graphic that you're looking for. Since I'm looking for graphics for my t-shirt design, I only want to see the design assets. So let's click to see only these. And from the results, I can browse through tons of graphics related to my keyword that are available on Adobe Express. There are tons of high quality graphics available, so feel free to take your time and browse through the library. For my design, I think I'll go with this graphic here. When you select a graphic, it'll be added to your template. You can now resize and rearrange it as needed. So here's my new Content is King, the Crown Jewel of Marketing t-shirt design. Once you finish creating your t-shirt design, you can easily download or share your design using the buttons up top here. But for this demonstration, I'll be going over how to order your design on a printed t-shirt directly from Adobe Express. To have my design printed on a t-shirt and shipped to me, let's click the print and deliver icon at the top here. This will open up a menu on the right hand side where you can view your design on some t-shirt mockups and where you can select your order settings as well. But before I can place my order, I'll need to remove the colored background from behind my design. To do this, make sure you have your background selected and click the color icon from the toolbar up top. From the drop down menu, we want to select the transparency icon, which is the one with the red stripe going through it. This will remove your background color, making it transparent. Now the only thing you should see on your mockup is your actual design and the t-shirt. If you want to view your design on a different shirt color, you can scroll down and select from the color options here. Now my t-shirt mockup color should be black. Also, you want to use the mockup to make any adjustments to your design that you need. For my design, it looks a bit low on the t-shirt, so let's move it up on the template. As you make adjustments to your design, you'll notice the mockups update as well. There we go. I think that looks much better. To get a closer view of your mockups, you can simply click the image to open up an enlarged view. This is a great way to view the fine details of your design and see if any adjustments are needed. They have several mockup images of the front and back of your shirt, and even some mock-up videos. And this is a great way to review your design before placing an order. I think my design looks ready to print, so let's close out the mock-ups menu. To place your order, you can use the menu on the right. For the sizes, they have everything from small to 3x. I'm gonna go with medium. And underneath this, they also have several shirt colors that you can select from. My design was made for a dark background, so I'm gonna go with black. Once you select your shirt options, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click add to cart. You can then review your order details and if everything looks good, go ahead and continue the checkout process by clicking the button at the bottom. Go ahead and continue through the checkout process by adding your address and your payment information. And once you're finished, your order will be printed and shipped directly to your address. If I click the view your order button, I can view my order details and the shipping information. So let's wait for the package to get here and check out the quality. So the package just arrived and it actually took less than a week to get here. 
It's packaged and shipped by Zazzle, which is a top print-on-demand company. So let's open up the package and see what's inside. We have the packing slip with my order details, and of course, we have my t-shirt. The t-shirt fabric feels thick and durable, and the design looks like it's printed with super high quality. We can see all the fine details in my text and in my graphics. I think this looks great, but let's try it on and see how it fits. So here's my new t-shirt that was printed and ordered from Adobe Express. I really like how sharp my design looks on the t-shirt. I'll definitely be creating and ordering more. So that's a quick overview of how to create and order t-shirt designs using Adobe Express. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.